Hi Saints, um, I want to share y'all a dream that was just, um, well I guess that I just had or that was given to me about Beyonce. And before I just prayed already, I had to make sure I prayed firsthand because usually when the Lord um, quickens my spirit or he gives me a really strong dream like that, I can't have any distractions. I can't do nothing before I pray. So I, I just prayed fervently for her. So I want to ask that you stand in agreement right now. If you have to touch the camera, touch and agree right now in the name of Jesus first. Stand in agreement. Speak it. I stand in agreement in the name of King Jesus. <sighs> well, um. I've not been listening to Beyonce. My eyes have not been on Beyonce. I have not been watching any Beyonce Illuminati videos. Nothing about Beyonce. Strictly been reading my Bible, been doing Facebook ministry, and I'm fellowshipping. That's all I do every day. Y'all already know that. I've not been watching anything about Beyonce. What I did do last night, though, um, not really like, well, yeah, early, I went to sleep at like 7 o'clock this morning. It's 1 o'clock now. Um, I was making some um, some funny Jesus uh, pictures about me and Jesus, you know, being husband and wife. <laughs> and I was worshiping this morning. That's what I was doing. I was worshiping with my king, me and him, talking to Jesus. I went to sleep in peace. And I believe it was the Lord who gave me this dream. I asked him for uh, interpretation and clarity. But this is the dream. In the dream... Y'all know I haven't had a Beyonce video. I mean, a Beyonce dream in a while. I have not had a Beyonce dream in a while. But um, in the dream, I was at my aunt's house. Um, her old house. Everything looked the same. Everything looked, you know, just, just how I was left. Except my cousin's room. But um, Beyonce is supposed to be coming over. And I'm telling you, in every dream I have a Beyonce, it's like I know her personally. I don't know why it's like that in every single dream. I know this girl personally, though like in a soulish type way or in spirit some way i know her personally so um beyonce is supposed to come over i think i won some type of contest or something to where beyonce comes to your house you know blah 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 and everybody knew that but they also knew i was a christian it was the same way i am now it was the same way i was in the dream so I, that's why i felt convicted i'm like she's coming over here i'm gonna have to preach to her some type of way you know because I know what she's into you know it was the real me in the dream so Beyonce comes to the house and she looks normal just like you would see her in, uh, in her house or in her little documentary or you know how Beyonce looks without all the makeup skinny little well not skinny but she kind of looks like Solange when she when she's not wearing makeup that's how she looked she didn't look like the big glamour girl like she always looks like when she's on stage she looked like Beyonce and uh, she came, a whole bunch of people came with her, so many rappers came with her, a lot of people came with this girl to like, if they were like her guardians, like militant guardians, and um, she came to me and I saw her, I already knew what I had to do, and she's like, hi, how are you, you know, and gave me a hug, you know, because I was like a contest winner or whatever. And I'm thinking in my head, this girl don't even know. This is so much bigger than that. I said, God brought God brought her here. And um, so she hugs me or whatever. And um, I told her, I said, hey, Beyonce. Uh, I said, if it's okay with you, I want to talk to you in private in the room. She said, okay. You know, she wants to go do something. And she comes back. All of these people are outside. I kid you not, y'all. If I cry in this video, please... It's, I'm, so, I'm so serious. I would not lie to you. So many rappers were with this girl. I don't know who these people were, but they were all in black. All of them were in black. I know for a fact Kanye West was there, Jay-Z was there, and he was not a husband figure at all. He was a militant guardian figure. I told y'all that in my last dream about her, he don't seem like the lovey-dovey husband type. He seemed like somebody who's like her, her, um, what do they call it? The people who are, um, they have... I don't know what they call it but he seems more like a guardian over her and it was several other rappers there people I didn't even know some people I could uh could kind of notice but I don't really I never really listened to them but it was a whole bunch of people in our yard they were in our yard and they were just standing there you know Beyonce's like guardians so she comes in the room she had her hair tied up and she was her normal skin color she wasn't like light 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 skin she was kind of like the color she used to be kind of like a light really light caramel color 
And um, she had the same beautiful hazel chestnut brown eyes. It, it was Beyonce in the dream. And it was me in the dream. This dream felt 100% real. So much to the point where I knew I was a Holy Spirit filled Christian. It felt real. I thought this was actually happening. So I bring her in the room and I close the door. I knew I could feel I didn't have much time. I could just feel like the the demonic entities I could feel it like if I was to take her private somewhere it wouldn't be long because they would just try to come and get her so I closed the door I said um <sighs> first of all I was trying to, I was stalling at first I was trying to get her comfortable I'm like well maybe if I get her comfortable first and don't talk about that right away she'll you know warm up a little bit and we were talking, you know, I forgot what we were talking about, but it had nothing to do with what God wanted me to tell her. And she's like, oh, well, I have to go now. And I was like, wait. I said, okay, wait. And I pushed her. I said, that's not what I had to tell you. And she said, okay. I said, first of all, I said, the Holy Spirit led you here. And she just stood there and she's looking at me. And I said, I don't know what you're going through. I said, I don't even know what you're doing. I said, only you know. I said, but God wanted me to tell you, I'm about to cry right now. Y'all have to understand, my spirit was so grieved when I had this dream. I don't know what that girl's going through. And it, when I was saying this stuff, it's like it just came to me, like the spirit just told me to say it or he said it through me. I said, God wanted me to tell you that it's not too late. As I'm talking, she's breaking down. I said, it's not too late. I said, he loves you. I said, Jesus loves you, Beyonce. And he said, it's not too late. And I said, um, I said some other stuff. I think I said, um, he wants you to call out and cry unto him. I said, he's going to free you and he's going to deliver you from all this stuff that you've been going through. I said, he loves you. It's something he, he kept telling me to tell her, tell her I love her. I told her that like 15 times. I said, I said, I even stopped. I even, I was touching her shoulder. I said, I'm going to talk to you the way if God was, was to speak to you. I said, I love you. I kept saying that. I love you. And she's just, she's just doing this and she's crying. She just started crying. You could just see the guilt and shame on her face. This girl started, she broke down crying. The more I said, I love you, he kept telling me to tell, tell her I love her, tell her I love her. I kept saying, God loves you. I love you. I love you. And the more I said it, she's like, she broke down even more. It's, it's, I, I think she may be dealing with that. I don't know what she's been doing, but she felt really ashamed and guilty. And she she got down on her knees and she, she just, I can't do it right now, but you know how somebody gets on their knees and they just have both of their hands in their face and they're just crying. My heart goes out to that girl. My heart was broken in that dream. And I, I just kept prophesying over her though. I just kept giving the word, whatever the spirit was giving me at that time to tell her, I was just telling it to her. And um, I don't remember everything word for word, but I know it had a lot to do with the people that was around her. She was scared, she knew, and she did that in my other dream. She knew when I was trying to talk to her about God, she knew that um, she was gonna get in trouble somehow. So she got up. And she tried to hurry up and run out the door because she was scared. No, no, let, let me tell you. Let me tell, I'm sorry, I skipped the part. Before she started crying, when I started telling her that God sent her here and that he, he loved her and um, he, he wants to tell you something, she did this. She did it just like that. Her mouth just dropped open like, oh my God, like she had confirmation or something. She knew, she knew what I was saying was true. Her mouth just dropped wide open, just like... And she tried to hurry up out the door. She tried to leave. And I stopped her. And I pulled her back in the room. Yes, I stopped Beyonce and pulled her back in the room. And that's when I started telling her all of that stuff. And I started prophesying over her. And she just started crying. She knew everything I was saying was true. I could I could see it. And to be honest with you, before I told her that, I was very hesitant. Because I'm like, in all my other dreams, Beyonce is heavily possessed. So I don't know if they're going to start manifesting and try to attack me. But none of that happened. None of that happened. It was her. And um, she was crying. And she felt, it looked like, if, if I had to tell you what her facial expression looked like, it looked like she was crying. She knew it was from the Lord. She had a lot of guilt and shame. And she was surprised that he had spoken to her through somebody else. And um, she looked like she had a little bit of hope now. Like, he heard me. The, the, it, it looks like, that's what it looked like she was just doing. Like, she had that look on her face. Like, he actually heard me. 
he heard me and she was just shocked and it looked like she was trying to figure out what she was going to do next because she knew she had all these people around her that weren't going to allow her to just get free like that but God sent her somebody and um I think I hugged her I was just telling her I said Beyonce God loves you so much I said he does not hate you I, I had to stress that he really wanted me to stress tell her I love her Ezekiel says that God doesn't take pleasure in any wicked man perishing. He he it grieves his spirit for the wicked man to perish. He said he wishes that they turn around and repent and come to life. I felt God's love when I was telling her that in that dream. And um this is this is apart from the story, but we need to examine ourselves a lot because I know there's a lot of Christians that you know, we look at Kanye West and Jay-Z and, you know, we look at the stuff they're doing or just anybody really. And we're like, we ain't praying for them. Um, we ain't praying for no wicked people. I'm telling you right now, I do believe this dream is from the Lord and God loves them. He's especially Beyonce. He loves Beyonce. I don't know what it is about that girl. This is like the sixth dream I've had about Beyonce prophetically. He loves that girl and God wants her free. And, um... That was the most that was the most passionate and intimate uh, scene in, in the dream when, when she was crying you could just see it all over her face she needed that so much she needed to be told that god still loved her i can only imagine the thoughts she must be wrestling with because beyonce is heavenly you know possessed you know we know how the enemy is when he tells us god doesn't love us or we're condemned or you know we're dirty and guilty and plus all this she's probably done a lot of stuff she may be ashamed of we witnessed some of that for ourselves, you know, and uh, she needed that. And I said, the Holy Spirit led you here. It was God who brought you here. I said, he's here right now and he loves you. And um, I kept bringing up Jesus, how Jesus died for her. I kept saying Jesus because, you know, they they really do mock and debunk Jesus and, and that stuff that uh, Aleister Crowley Satanist stuff. Jay-Z was wearing, uh, he was just caught wearing a shirt with uh, Jesus having sex with Satan. So I kept telling her, I said, Jesus loves you. I said, Jesus died for you. But she knew that. That's a blessing that she knew that. She knew I was telling the truth. So I'm like, okay, she still knows Jesus is, you know, the, the true God. You know, I had to tell her. And um, so after I'm done speaking with her, you know, and she's crying and she's, her heart just, just broke. We walk out the room and, um. I'm like praise God they didn't try to rush up in here and interrupt anything I think that was God himself but uh I still had my like free time with Beyonce and um so we go outside all the rappers are in the yard I remember um I was thinking I'm like okay I wonder if God's trying to save anybody else here it was just he just had me focus on Beyonce Beyonce for some reason so I looked to the left I saw Blue Ivy I saw her. I saw Blue Ivy. She's a little light-skinned baby. She has a why not? Y'all know how she looks, but she had the curly hair. She was wearing a little pink uh, dress, and a rapper was playing with her. They were on the grass. They were, it was like people were just chilling there. They were just waiting for Beyonce. I don't know why, but I saw Blue Ivy. I saw her daughter. I didn't feel anything special or prophetic about her daughter, though, for some reason. Just Beyonce. Everybody else was wicked, and I'm about to get into that. And, um... There are a few females there, but mostly men, mostly Jay-Z's people. Any of Jay-Z's friends, those those male rappers, it was mostly them. So um, she walked out, you know. I think she was trying to hide what just happened. She didn't want them to know that something serious just took place because she'd get in trouble. And uh, she played it off so well. It reminds me of that interview she had with Oprah Winfrey when Oprah Winfrey was asking her questions. Y'all need to go watch that because you could tell Beyonce was just very... She didn't want to say much. She knew if she said too much, she'd be in trouble. And she was just acting real shy and real reserved. And you could tell she was just, she was scared. Y'all need to go watch that. It's on YouTube. And Oprah even noticed that. Because Oprah was asking her questions. And Beyonce really wouldn't answer the question the way Oprah wanted to. She just, she was very careful what she said. But anyway, um, check this out. Two random Christians pop up in the dream. One of them looked like my cousin Brandon. I don't think it was Brandon though, but I was at my aunt's house, so I think they just came for me. And they're like, "Hey, girl, what's up, girl?" You know, they were Christian guys. I don't know these people in real life. I don't know who they are, but we knew each other in the dream. And um, I think I told them what happened. I said, "We need to go pray with Beyonce real quick," because I know the word says, "Where two or three are gathered in Jesus' name, He is in the midst." And um, 
she, I think she went to go talk to Jay. She went to go do something. And we went, uh, me and Beyonce, I took her and I took the two Christian boys. They already understood everything. They're like, oh, okay, let's go. So we go, um, we're still in my, my aunt's yard, but she has this ditch and it's like grass, you know, and we sat on the side of the road right there to try to look innocent, but we had to get away from everybody. And I said, we need to pray with her. We, we need to pray together right now. And she, uh, she's just sitting there. And um, Jay-Z and his little clique, they're like a few feet away. And I don't know why. We were talking about something that had absolutely nothing to do with the prayer. We were supposed to be praying, but we were talking. And they started coming. And she looked. She said, okay, do it now. Do it now. Pray right now. Pray right now. And I, I opened up prayer really, really quick. The way I always pray. That's why it's weird. That's why I thought the dream was so real. I always open up prayer like that. And I had to pray really, really quick, really, really quick. And I had to, um, they were coming. And I said, in Jesus' name, like that. And, you know, they stood in agreement or whatever. And she had to get up and she had to go. And um, I just looked at her and she was like, she was like, you know, just nodding her head. Like, uh, she had assurance now that God heard her prayers. I believe Beyonce is praying, to be honest with you. I believe she, you never know what somebody's going through, man. I know she's in all that stuff, but you never know if somebody's really repenting or crying out to Jesus for somebody to help them. And I believe God gives us these dreams to pray for that girl because he can hear her, but he needs intercessors. That's why I told y'all, please pray for Beyonce. If you, if you, if you that type of Christian who feel like you don't need to pray for no wicked person, well, you're a hypocrite because we were all wicked at one point. Please pray for that girl. And you're not doing God's will either because God says he wishes for no man to perish. He wants all to come to the knowledge of the truth that's in the Bible. Please find it in your heart. Some soft spot you may have for the wicked or just if you're an intercessor, please, I'm telling you, man, pray for Beyonce. God keeps giving me dreams about this girl. Pray for her. So this is this is the um this is the crazy part. So Beyonce's leaving all the rapper. Wait, and actually, you know what? For some reason, Jay-Z. Kanye West and another rapper they broke they broke my cousin's window and they went through uh they went through the house messed up her whole room looking for just because they couldn't find me and Beyonce they did that they messed up the whole room broke the window didn't care who else was there Cedric the Entertainer was there y'all I'm telling so many people was there y'all and they broke my cousin's window and I saw that because they were looking for Beyonce it was like they didn't want her to be alone with me for more than like five minutes because me, me and her, we went in different places. But I know for sure we were in the room. We went on the side of the ditch outside in front of everybody. But um, they did that twice. And I'm like, these people are so freaking rude and evil. Like, why would you do that? They didn't care that I was a girl that won a contest or anything. They just wanted Beyonce. Where is she? And um, I even told them. I was like, uh, I said, where is so-and-so? And they were like, uh, I think he's over there. You know, that rapper. And I was, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was kind of intimidated because they were just so like, you could, do y'all trust me, these people are so arrogant. These rappers, they're proud, wicked people. They were all in black and they they just felt like, you could tell they, because they had money. They didn't care about you. You were like scum to them. And that's what Satanists believe. If you go watch um, Zena LaVey's uh, interview with Bob Larson, they'll tell you that. She says, Satanists, they don't care about the poor. That's exactly how they treated me. I wasn't rich like them. They were just like, uh whatever I said um, I said y'all broke through my window and y'all need to I would appreciate it if y'all go pick my stuff up and they just looked at me and they just kind of laughed and walked off but anyway so Beyonce had to leave she's leaving I'm like okay I did what the Lord wanted me to do I'm glad it's accomplished I was like yes I prayed for her yes we did the right thing so everybody's leaving Jay-Z, I'm, I'm gonna get into all of that later, but I'm closing the door and I'm telling all of them if it's a possibility that God wants to save them too. I told Jay-Z, I said, God bless y'all. Every crapper that was kind of going into the, the different trucks and stuff they're about to leave, I said, God bless y'all. I said, God loves you. God loves you. And Jay-Z, I think he told me to shut the F up. Jay-Z told me to shut the F up. He, he was the worst one. Jay-Z was the worst one out of all of them. Kanye West was next. He was walking away. And uh, him just like him I said God bless you Kanye uh, I said God loves you and he, he just did like this like uh. like he you know he had a strong he had a strong very blasphemous spirit on him 
and he had that attitude. You know how Kanye's just cocky? If you go watch that video where he hit his head when he was walking with Kim Kardashian and the um the paparazzi got it on camera. He had that angry attitude. He's always angry. Kanye, he did that in the dream. He was like, uh, like shut up. Like I don't wanna hear that. Like I don't want no prayers from you. Like like F you. That's how he did it. Like whatever. Like telling me to shut up with his hand because I was telling him Jesus loves him. And um they were so proud. They didn't even care about me. Jay Z and Kanye walked off. Or there's this one rapper, dark skin, black jacket. They were all in black. But um, he comes to me, and he's like, uh, he say, he say, now goodbye to you. And he took out a gun, and it was like, I don't know what gun it is, but you know the guns where they shoot a whole bunch of bullets at the same time. I had to close my door because he, that man was trying to kill me for fun. Like they, they weren't even really angry. That he just shot at me. Because I, I guess that's what they do. They feel like just because they have money, they can just do that. If I would never close that door, that man would have shot me and killed me. No remorse. Ruthlessly. Just just didn't care. He had a cocky attitude when he did it. Like, shot. And then he just left. And I said, God bless you again. But that that's just brandy. I do that. But, um... Yeah, then everybody left. It's a truck loads of people. A whole bunch of people came. But now I'm going to get into what everybody looked like. Jay-Z, please trust. I, I believe this because I've been shown this too many times about this man. I don't care how lovey-dovey they may look on camera or what their personal life is. I don't care. When I saw Jay-Z in that dream, Jay-Z has a demon. I don't know if it's more than one. This is a blasphemous spirit. This spirit is just, it's heavy on him. He, he just... His heart is hard. You can tell it's hard to Jesus. He hates Jesus. Just his attitude. And he's not, he's never a husband figure in my dreams with Beyonce. He's never a husband figure. He's like a guardian over her. He's her guardian. And he treated, he was treating her harshly. Like he would grab her. Not like he's about to beat her up, but he would just grab her. Like he was just in control of her. And she was very submissive to him. Like she knew what she was supposed to do. You know, he, he didn't treat her with no type of love or mercy or, or nothing like that. Jay-Z was just very, honestly, if I had to be, it was, it was like it was no turning back for him for some reason. Jay-Z just looked very, I'm not saying don't pray for him. I'm just trying to express his character in the dream. He was um hard, man, careless, careless, proud, proud, careless, ruthless man. I'm telling you, man. And it's all because they had money. Because of the, the, the status that they have. It was all over them. The pride. I ain't never seen nobody that proud before in my life. So so much to the, the part where the, their hearts were just so hard. They didn't care about the poor. They didn't care. They would kill you for fun. Because cause it's like you're scum anyway. I mean, what are you here for? That's That was their attitudes. I sensed all of that in the dream. And they, they were all clicked up with each other the whole time. They didn't speak to none of my family in the house. They were just there for Beyonce, and they were all just associating with each other. They were the type of people that you would feel intimidated to approach because of their popularity. You know, you ever felt that before in school? Like you didn't want to go talk to some people because you felt they would just look at you and be like, mm. yeah, that's exactly how they were, but 10 times worse. You could feel the evil on them. That's Jay-Z. Just trying to he and he for some reason he he they would come in groups and they were looking for Beyonce but he was like the head one he would be that strong man demon for some reason and I think that may be her idol I think that's her issue right there she is too in love with that guy I'm telling you he was like the strong man demon he's the root he needs to go I said that in my other dream my other video but um Kanye West he's under Jay Z a little bit they're that they're, they're when I say level, I mean in, um, they're just different in ranking. He's not too under him, but he's a little bit under Jay-Z. I could just, I could discern that. They're both wicked. But Kanye was like, he was trying, not trying hard, but he, he, he just wasn't as proud and wicked as Jay-Z. It's, it's just different rankings for some reason. And, um, you know, he was the same way, cold-hearted, ruthless, um, attitude just angry all the time and just they just didn't care anything about Jesus you could see it on they didn't have to tell you you could, they would say it they didn't have no problem saying that 
but their their attitudes that the you could just feel like the the entities the the um the atmosphere just with them it's like a demon but in human form they were hard-hearted cold proud people they did not care about you and the rappers they were with I don't know who these people were but they were just like dark shadow figures they were just like background people I think they were agents they had to be agents or some people who just kept Beyonce made sure she didn't go nowhere make sure she didn't slip out or trying to get away none of that and they were black guys all of them were black there are no white people there and they were Jay-Z's people so that's why I said that he ain't no husband type figure I'm sure a lot of people have uh if you have any dreams about Beyonce, you probably discerned that already. God probably already showed you. He ain't no husband type figure. That guy's a guardian over that girl. And he got his people that, that's in that same mess that he in watching her. Making sure she don't get away. I honestly do believe. I've seen so many movies. But I honestly do believe if Beyonce was to try to pick up and leave right now, they would kill that girl. They don't care about her being no famous superstar. They would kill that girl if she ever tried to get away. I could feel it. Jay-Z don't care about that girl. I don't care how it looks. I've had too many dreams that have told me otherwise. That man is wicked. He's evil. He's hard-hearted and he's cold-hearted. And he does not care about Beyonce. Beyonce is always... She's always... A, um. Besides the dreams where she was possessed in my dream, she's never, she's never come off. She's never been given to me as wicked for some reason. I don't know if the Lord has a special um, reason for that. I've never seen Beyonce as wicked in my dream never it's all she's always like this innocent pure just um normal girl there's only one time in my dream two times in two dreams i had where she was superstar beyonce all the other times you know how she looked like solange without makeup that was her and um, we talked to we talk like we know each other in every dream and i always talk to her about god but um I think that's pretty much it. That's all I remember. The all the rappers though, they were wicked. They were just hard hearted. You could just tell they were lost. They were not they were nowhere near on the same ranking as Jay Z or Kanye. You could tell Jay Z and Kanye had done some things to get to where they were. They were in very high places. But the other rappers, they were just um they were just there. I'm pretty sure they were in that mess, but they were where Jay Z and Kanye were. Jay Z, I'm telling you, he was like that head. He was the head guy. That's who Jay Z was. You know, um, Kesha, Kesha says she's a cult, she's a cult leader. I think Jay-Z could possibly be, he's probably a leader of some sort. I could just tell because the way he would, uh, he was always in front. They were behind him or either on the side of him. Like if you had somebody in the front, it would be Jay-Z. And then on the left of them, kind of behind them would be Kanye and another rapper. And then the rest are just kind of all in the back. And I, I really, I asked the Lord for an um, interpretation on that dream, but I really do think it's symbolic for demons because that's how demons work. You have the strong man. And then you have the chain spirits that are attached to that or that are um similar to that spirit. Like if you had bitterness, bitterness would be the strong man and then anger would be the demon on the left. And, the, you know, just something like that. That's how it was. And everybody else in the back. So I don't know if the Lord's trying to show me she has she has several demons, several. But there's that one strong man and it has something to do with Jay-Z. Can't, I can't give like a full blown out. I think he'll give he'll give me interpretation. I'm gonna keep praying for it. Stand in agreement with that prayer as well. But um definitely demons. I know for a fact the Lord was showing me that. But Jay Z plays a huge part in that so big. I don't know how. But he plays a huge part. And um I just want Beyonce to get free. I wanted to come on here and do a video and share that dream with y'all. I believe it was Jesus who gave it to me because uh, me and Jesus, we were worshiping. I mean, we were um, spending time together. I was He was supping with me. I was supping with Jesus. I was uh, went to sleep at 7 o'clock this morning because I stayed up all night. It's uh, probably 2 o'clock now as I'm doing the video. But, yeah, I was spending time with Jesus. If, if y'all are friends with me on Facebook, y'all saw me post my little Jesus and me pictures while I had it like we were husband and wife. You know, I was doing that type of, st type of stuff. I went to sleep reading Luke. Got tired, went to bed in peace, and I had that dream. It felt so real, and I think, uh, I think when we're when we really just focus on Jesus like that, and we're not distracted by other things, and it's you know we just spend time with uh, our husband, our spiritual husband, because he is. I think he'll show you things like that. Um, and he gave me that. 
I have not been watching Beyonce. I have not been listening to Be nothing like that. I don't even fool with that crap. I'm, 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 I don't be watching no more Illuminati videos. I ain't got time for that. It's a distraction. I know it's real. But I don't want to keep my eyes on the devil and my eyes supposed to be on Jesus. You know. So, um... <sighs> Please pray for Beyonce, y'all. I, I know Jesus gave this for a reason. This is not the first time. I don't know why he keep giving me dreams about her. Maybe he's just choosing different intercessors, you know, certain people in the kingdom. You know, he can choose us. We're his servants. He can choose anybody he wants to to give a dream. Hey, pray for this person. Show you what they're going through to give you an idea. So pray that the Lord gives me interpretation and clarity, um, in-depth revelation um, of what that dream means. And uh, please keep Beyonce in your prayers. I'm, my heart my heart goes out to that girl. I, I can't hate Beyonce. Especially, you know, after all he's shown me about her. It's just impossible for me to hate B. But, um, please pray for her. She's trying to get out. I know she is. She's trying to get out. She's stuck. Beyonce's stuck. She's trying to get out. I know it for a fact now. I think that's in the Bible. It says if you have two or three dreams that are similar to each other, or two or three of the same dream... God's, yeah, it's God. Like, yeah, he's showing you. It's confirmation that it's true. So, um, please pray for Beyonce. If you're fasting, make sure Beyonce's in your prayer. Just make sure anything you do, this is for everybody who's watching this. If you're a faster or um, if you're just praying at night, you know, if you pray every night or you just pray throughout the day, make sure Beyonce is included, especially when you fast. Because some demons come not out by um, but by prayer and fasting. So you can still do some things in the spirit while you're fasting and praying for Beyonce for those demons to be off of her. Or that she be delivered. You don't know what the Lord is doing or where she is. He could I pray that I just pray that he sends Christians to her. He did it with me in the dream, honey. He the Lord will work, okay. And he does exceedingly and abundantly more than we could ever think or imagine. So get specific with the prayer. But trust God's going to do so much more greater than what you just prayed. Because that's what he wants for her. And pray that his will be done. But um, I pray that he sends Christians to her to give her words and uh, confirmation messages and hope. Anything she needs. Any deliverers. Any something. You know. And um, I, I pray that the Lord hides her too. You know. the Matthew says that God's going to hide Israel from the antichrist and uh, i do believe i said lord i want you to hide beyonce like you like you're gonna hide israel in these last days protect her her family her child i was praying that jay-z get delivered too but for he just wanted me focused on her for some reason but i was like just hide her keep her in the palm of your hand don't let nobody touch her the enemy is already defeated she just needs to get out and um, I was praying, I said, Lord, put your will, put your um, your order and your steps in her heart and her mind. And I said, keep the Holy Spirit on that girl. Because I know that, you know, man, I've, I've been tormented by demonic spirits. And when they tell you some lies, it's so hard not to believe it. They, they construct demonic mindsets for you. I said, if she's deceived, I said, I bind up every demonic spirit that's constructing mindsets for her that may be leached and attached to her mind according to any, you know, blood covenants, whatever she's done. I know, I know how demons work with their mind, man. It's terrible when demons attack your mind. And y'all probably never experienced it. I experienced it. It's horrible. I was on my bed questioning if Jesus was real or not. And that's not even the worst torment. So I can only imagine what she's going through. I pray for that. I was pleading the blood of Jesus over her mind, over her soul. I said, Lord, keep the Holy Spirit on that girl so he can whisper to her the truth and he can steal instruction for her. Because I know these demons going to be lying to her. I was just trying to cover her. I just saw 333. <laughs> but um, I was praying as much as I possibly could. I was I was loosing warring angels, you know, and heavenly creatures from heaven. As many as God feels needs to be needed for, those, the, for, the, for the warfare. The spirits that are attacking her or that are on her. Even through agents and people. Loosing angels to fight for her. And um, just keeping her covered and protected and Jesus is more powerful than Satan anyway but I was just I just want to make sure she's covered I do that for everybody I love I'm, I'm not playing if I love you I'm so serious and I'm praying for you honey trust me you have angels surrounding you I pray that all the time my brother in Christ Noah he just told me he prayed for um my brother in Christ Chris I told him to pray for it he said uh he said he saw an angel he said he saw Chris and uh, there was a spirit attacking Chris's mind to where he's confused. And he saw a big 13-foot angel just slide down and slice that demon up. He said, so he has angels around him. And I was like, thank you, Lord, for allowing me to know that. Because I've been, I always pray for people I love. I'm like, Lord, 
make sure they surrounded with angels because the Lord has allowed me to see a fight between an angel and a demon and when I tell you our angels kick but trust me take my word for it I got a video on it. it's called personal encounters it's like an hour long but I talked about that they 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 fight like some ruthless warriors our angels I'm telling you trust me them demons look scared but um pray for B please pray for B that's all don't want to make this video longer than what it needs to be please pray for her Please, please do. I, I really want Beyonce to make it. I think she's scared. I, I really think I really do think B is scared. I think she's trying to get out, and she's stuck. I think she's crying out to God, and somehow he heard her. You know, which I'm sure he has. You know, and um, she just can't get out physically. She might. She's in bondage. She's stuck. You know, spiritually, emotionally, but she's been crying out. She has got to be crying out because he's giving everybody dreams about this girl. Pray for her. She don't have nobody around to help her. That's all she can do is hope that God hears what she's saying. I'm telling you, that's how she looked in the dream. She was shocked. Her mouth dropped like wide open. Like <laughs> she know she wasn't expecting God to send her somebody. But please pray for B. I I really hope Beyonce goes to heaven. I I really really do. And um. Once again, there may be some of you out there who feel like, well, she doesn't deserve to be there. None of us deserve to go to heaven. We all deserve to be in hell. Go watch Passion of the Christ when Jesus was getting scourged and beat and having his flesh ripped from his body. That was your torment. That was for you. But Jesus took it, and he took it for her, too. He is her savior, just as he's, he's anybody else's savior. So um, I, I really do pray that Beyonce goes to heaven. I hope she does go. And I hope if he allows it, with God, all things are possible. We may not see it through our narrow, judgmental eyes, but God could use that girl for a testimony before he comes. Pray for that. It can happen. It's not too late. Pray for that girl. <sighs> That's it, though. That is it. I'm going to go now. I talk too much.